Good evening, everybody. Hello. Right. A few months ago, I tried to get into the habit of writing a weekly fishing vlog. And it didn't go very well. It didn't happen, did it? Sort of did for a few weeks. I did what I said I was going to do. I wrote about the good matches and I wrote about the bad matches. But... Mainly about the bad ones. Stop pitching us. I had some good ones. You had some good ones. Anyway, I wrote about it. Was that when we had pop? Yes, pop. Pick, pick up percentage. P pick... But yeah, Pick up yeah, it was. We had that, but to be honest, it got a bit tedious. I, I couldn't. I was fishing too many matches to keep up with my blogging, and it got a bit on top of me. And I said to him, "What should I do?" And he says, "Well, I haven't done a blog. He says I have never decided to do a blog because I do that well to get boring. People read it about well, I do, didn't you, mate? And as well, it's female readership on Facebook. Yeah, there'd be too many of them coming to a single blog." Asking for phone numbers, things like that. Right, you know, that was right. the main reason, to be honest. Anyway, we're changing. We're changing, don't we? We've got with something together, haven't we? We've got with something together. Me and my brother. Huh? Uh -huh. What is the plan? What is the plan? We make video blog for you. Tell you we catch fish to feed family for us and tell you about the fish we catch. So, basically, a new weekly video blog telling you about how we've got on. Not just us, though. Everyone in match fishing, like, because we do a bit of travelling, well, Hey, we? we get about, there's one thing we do. Get, get around, about, get around, you know, I get around, We get yeah, about a bit. Get around. But in all the wrong ways, don't we? We yeah. get about a bit, but not... We get about in the right ways, don't well, we? Well, yeah, I suppose yeah. so. Right, so, we're going to start with you. Last week... Silverfish Festival. Some of us have got to work for a living, but uh, we let our jovial assistants go off. You were there week before. Stop it, Jim. You were there Stop week it. before. Stop it. Anyway, Silverfish Festival, why take us? How did you get on? I did really well. Yeah. I'm really pleased with my result. Yeah. I um, I came fourth overall. Yeah. Um, the winner. Yeah. He's good, isn't he? He's brilliant. He's very good. For an olden, can you say that? He's going on now, isn't he? He is not? knocking on. But I, I can say that because he wants to get in the veterans team, so I can say that. Oh. Might already be in the veterans team. He's, all well, that, he's got to be well in it, hasn't he? he he's in it. I'll well, put it, it this way he showed us young guns out to go on last week. Mr. Harry Billing, congratulations on winning the Garbolino well done, Harry. Winter Festival at Whiteacres. I think he had four section wins in a second or a third or something. It was the like only that. one on maximum points, wasn't yeah. he, I think. Proper awesome display. He caught 60 odd pound of skimmers two days running. That's brilliant. Um, or, or two of the five days, 60 odd pound of skimmers, brilliant days fishing. And how many points did you end up on? I ended up on, I think I was on 20, 30 points for it. You dropped two, didn't you, basically? I think. Yeah, I had two section wins, two seconds, and a third. You dropped two points and on the. Yeah, on there, were, the there were three or four of us with same mm. points. But and you lost out on Cal. I did. Back. Adam Wakelin and uh, Andy Powers. Yeah. They both, they were se Adam was second and uh, Andy was third. But it was really tight, really exciting week. Learned loads, met some new people. Yeah. Um, it was brilliant. Had some nice food and all. Was it really tight? It was really tight at the top. Oh, at the top, you know. Tight. Really tight. But <laughs> it's uh, it's a brilliant festival, though. Yeah. And you and I remember when I first got asked to go down to White Acres, Steve Sanders says to me, You want to get better at commercial fishing? Go to White Acres and fish a festival. And at first it was dead daunting and stuff. But you learn loads when you go so. If you do want to improve your commercial fishing, definitely book on one. Go down. I've learnt loads and loads every time I've been. It is. It's, well, it's the only place I go for my holidays, pretty much, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. All of it down there. All of it and down there. Um, well, that's that's more work. Malia. No, I'm beefing and Malia's more the DJ. So, yeah. you know, obviously, oh, right. work, working with him over there. So, yeah, yeah. you can't sort of. But. And all, you've got a very exciting match to tell the people about, haven't you? I had a lovely day on Sunday. I didn't fish Saturday. I had to go Christmas shopping and get some presents, which has to be done once a year, I'm afraid. So I went round Meadow Hall on Saturday. And on Sunday, it was the first round of the Bait Tech Canal Championship, which Lee Carey, myself, and, well, Matt, is supposed to be running, but he chose not to turn up on this didn't particular this one. Week. But um, it's on the Stainforth and Keeper Canal. It's a series of qualifiers culminating in a big money final. And Sunday was the first qualifier. Now, I haven't been on the Stainy this year as yet. I've been uh, on the Saw. But I did get a sneaky midweek visit last week, I think it was, to do a feature with one of my, uh, one of my well, greatest friends, James Dent. We had a lovely day out. He caught nice, nice a idea. load of big roach on casters. So I'd be lying if I said I didn't have a sneak preview anyway. In the hand went into the draw bag. Out came 299, I think it was, at Stanilands. Oh, well, like, what's that like? Because I've never drawn Stanislands. I don't draw that well. Nice um, bit of canal, in it. Never been there. So it was great for me, even though I fished the state of those. I've never drawn that bit. So I went there, and I spoke to a few people in the morning. They said, oh, yeah, it's like a bit of bream and a lot of roads. I'm like, ooh. So I fished casters on the long pole. 
I caught five good skimmers. I caught a few roach. And I ended up with £21. £21? £21 too, which was enough to win the section and come second on the match, beating Cam Hughes for the section. Ooh, but there were a big gap between you, on it? One ounce. Ooh. Now, to be fair to the scalesman, Sean Stockley, he was yeah. on the scales, he's a comic rep and a sponsored angler. He was in a very difficult position. Because obviously, as you know, Cam Hughes, uh, his family run a string of tackle shops, which buy a lot of comic fishing tackle. Mm. So by calling that weight an ounce less than me, he's potentially lost himself a lot of money. Mm. But isn't that better than the alternative of a total media embargo on all things comic? And he's got a lot of money as well, because you nudged him away as well oh, yeah, for he, calling it an he, ounce he's less. He's always got to, got to look yeah, after people yeah, and you know, pay him a little bit of money and such. So yeah. it was a tight match, but we had a good laugh. Um, I've got a little interview uh, for you with the winner of uh, with the winner of the match, which was Mr. Sean Wright, which I'll insert here. Enjoy. Right, I'm here with the match winner today, Sean Wright. Sean, you had a great day at Stanley's, haven't you? What peg have you been on? Uh, Two nine four. Just tell us how you've caught. I've caught uh, seven sections, caught roach on bloodworm, and then I've had seven or eight feeder fish. You've been on the feed of them skimmers, have you? Yeah. Um, kept chucking a feeder in four or five times, put plenty of bait in, and I swap it to a smaller one, leave it 20 minutes, and chuck in and catch one straight away. Brilliant, so it's so just a matter of resting it and then going yeah. in and nicking a fish. Yeah, it's worked perfect. Awesome, well you're through to the final, well done. Cheers Tom. Let's go and have a beer. Thank you. So there you have it folks. Ah, you've missed a little bit out though. What? This uh, Bait Tech Stay in Your League mm. actually qualifies for a final, aren't they? Yes. Did you qualify? I did qualify. You qualified, I didn't you? Yeah. First time. Yeah, first one. Big money final. Big money final. With some big names. Big names. Sean Ashby. The, the qualifiers were, you know, it's Ooh. right, we're not missing anybody out. Myself, Sean Ashby, Ben Roberts, uh, James Dent, Lee Kerry, them two qualified. Yeah. Um, we've got a couple more I've got to think of. Sean Wright, the match winner, he qualified, that's six. And the other one, who were the, oh, Gary Smith from Leicester, he was the other oh, one. Oh, yeah, we're on flat section, weren't we? It was. Yeah. It well was. done, Gary. So that, that, that are the qualifiers. Um, and we're all looking forward to the next one in a couple of weeks. If you want to book on, by the way, you can do so by dropping me a text on 07971620489 or this man on 07917 or just drop us a message on Facebook. Yeah, or obviously Lee Kerry, but he's got a young young child. So yeah, don't got a lot of women on going on, hasn't he? So, um, oh, yeah, it's video, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, that's goodbye from us, folks. We hope you've enjoyed the first of our instalments, and we'll definitely be seeing you next week. Doodaloo, folks. Goodbye. <laughs>